Yesterday, the Inkscape team released an update for the beta version of Inkscape 1.4, which will likely be released by the end of this year, and I wanted to make a quick video to go over some of these new additions. I'll put a link to this page in the description of the video if you want to see all of the changes. A lot of these I already covered in a video from a couple of months ago, but there are a couple of noteworthy updates that I'm really excited about and wanted to share. For one, you will soon be able to open Affinity files in Inkscape, which is useful because personally I work cross-platform between Inkscape and Affinity Designer all the time, and normally I have to export SVG files if I want to use them in Inkscape, but that will no longer be necessary in version 1.4. You will be able to work with them natively, which I think is really cool. The main feature I wanted to focus this video on, though, is an update to the Shape Builder tool, which will now work on pixel-based images and not just vector paths. This is revolutionary because no other software has a Shape Builder that can do this. So let me open up a new document in Inkscape and show you how it works. So here we are in Inkscape version 1.4 beta, and as you can see, I have a pixel-based image in the background of my document, and on top of it, I have a series of vector shapes. I know these are meant to be letters, but if I grab my nodes tool, you can see that these are just plain old vector paths. So let me go back to my selection tool. Let me select all of this, and I'll come over here to the Shape Builder. Now, if you try doing this with the current version of Inkscape, you will get an error message because it doesn't yet work with images. But with the new 1.4 beta, I can come up here, choose the Addition option, and I can create individual letters out of the image using both the vector shapes and the image in the background. And I can remove the background by choosing the subtraction option and clicking that out of there. And now if I go back to my selection tool, you can see the end result. I was able to take the image and break it up into a series of individual letters. Now the way this works is the image itself was not actually broken apart. It was just made into a series of individual clipping masks. So if I select this letter right here, I can go to Object, Clip, and choose Release Clip and you can see the original image and the original shape is still there. So this is a non-destructive feature. So let me undo that. And this is true for every other letter on the document as well. Now this is an important consideration to keep in mind if you're working with hardware limitations because we now have 10 copies of this image on this document because we have 10 letters. So that's something you'll want to keep in mind. Every time you create a new section in the Shape Builder tool, you will be effectively adding a new image to the document as well. So that should do it for today's video. Go ahead and check this out. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Join the Logos by Nick mailing list and get over 200 free design templates, including logos, avatars, textures, infographics, and more. As a member, you'll receive news, updates, and tips about your favorite design apps. Just use the link below to subscribe for free and download your templates. As always, thanks for watching.